Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing with some Robolun. So another, I would say, not a cheese deck but uh, rather underrated decks in the meta because obviously it's getting countered by the Viking Bridge spam but it's pretty nice time with cleaning other decks. So right now we're gonna play against Mr. Shard who has zero medals and... As I see currently, he's going to be playing some kind of bait deck with a lot of swarm units, so definitely bullets and blitz was a correct choice here. He's going to be playing the balloon himself, so very bizarre deck to say the least. We're going to be having a correct response and right now he's going to be trying to counter my raw balloon push. We're going to play bullets on these devils and the balloon will very likely to connect. I'm going to play shield skeletons on this form keg. Unfortunately, he played on the inside, so I won't be able to get the best cleanup, but it's good enough. It's good enough either way. We're going to be playing. But right now, actually nothing, right? And now I feel very confident about my position. These Robopups should clean up his Devils, at least in a manner that they won't stack up too badly. I'm gonna play. Blitz against these bomb blasters. I may regret that later because right now I'm kinda out of spells So anything that he throws at me I have to respond with units and I'm gonna just play devils on this bull I think I'm gonna just save super devil for the attack because it has a lot of health It's kinda spell resistance unless you count in the uh, The lightning which is a very underused card right now like not many people are using Kyker, and right now I'm gonna just go with a Super Devil on offense, delete these Devils, very cool thing to see as always, I'm gonna play Footman on these Bone Blasters, finally I can re reveal my Footman, because well, I was hid hiding them uh, for quite a time, just in case he has some like Dark Knight shenanigans or something like that, but since we are uh, safe to say that we, he doesn't have that, we're gonna be just playing a, them against the Bone Blasters and that's gonna be 3 stars, so he didn't bother to defend, very nice from him because I kinda... I'm on the clock, so yeah, that, that's gonna be a win and we're gonna jump to next game. And we're gonna get a second game of the video against Adam, who is gonna be almost a thousand male player. He's gonna, by the first looks, play some Ice Tiny Fonts, maybe some Digger Control, maybe Bait, we're gonna find out. He's gonna be playing a Fawn Cake very aggressively, I'm gonna play Devils, even though it gives value for the Bomb Girl, I've gotten the value out of them anyway, so we might as well just throw them here, so... Yeah, that, that's gonna be cool thing to do. His Bomb Girl actually retargets to my Flying Robot, so I might as well just play a Footman here. He definitely uh, overestimated of what they are capable of because he kind of overspent on that but at the same time he's just back to his aggressive card so it might have been a good play at the end of the day. I'm gonna play Bloom here because okay, he's having another bomb girl in rotation. I'm gonna absolutely decimate her here and he's gonna be having a phone hut against my Bloom. Very unfortunate but at the same time kind of expected. Steel by the type of deck cycle very fast, so yeah, I kinda expect that he may be going for that. So he's gonna be playing a phone keg trying to evade my spells, which was very smart. If I were to play spells against that, it would have been a very bad news for me, but uh, I mean, uh, of course, if I weren't to notice that, I would obviously notice that off. I think uh, this footman will force another set of value out of him and I think I'm gonna just go with a flying robot, there's no reason not to. I have shield skeletons to protect me from pretty much anything aggressive he will try to defend my flying robot with. And with that being said, I think we're just uh, good to go. I have uh, bullets against his bomb girl, right now he's gonna be going with a phone cake and there it is. I'm gonna pre-split shield skeletons right here, I'm gonna go with balloon and I'm gonna go with devil sniping his phone hut. I'm gonna obviously kill his bomb girl because it's just the law. I'm gonna blitz 
the stone falls, Balon will connect onto the tower and does the asymmetric damage we were expecting from this matchup. Balloon absolutely connects onto the tower, I'm gonna play Super Devil, wait a little bit and kill this bomb girl, hopefully this Super Devil isn't helping at all. Okay, now it, it's helping, it's gonna clean up the bomb girl, I should have played this Super Devil way later, but yeah, a man learns from his mistakes after committing them, so that's not, not gonna be too bad. I'm gonna play footman here, I'm gonna play actually bullets on defense because I want to hold this tower and I think that's gonna be just GG, I can even play a flying robot in the middle for the banter and that's gonna be a very nice win against Steel Bay. Even though he had a phone hat I was having absolutely every single tool to defeat his deck. It looks like we're gonna be facing Sandy in game number 3, I've met this player a couple of times already on ladder. He's gonna be having zero medals and I'm gonna be playing just flying robot first play. There's no reason not to, especially in this type of meta where kinda matchups decide whether you win or lose anyway, so you might as well just get the info whether you're winning or not uh, earlier than you should have. So I'm gonna just play balloon behind the flying robot. He's gonna be playing a Ice Tiny and Missile to counter my Balloon, which unfortunately still is an interaction. There are many ways uh, in which uh, Balloon is bad in this game and that's uh, just the another one. I don't like this interaction because it just encourages the defensive gameplay, but at the same time... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> but at the same time it's like the only interaction that Missile has in this game, so I may as well just not complain. I'm gonna play Super Devil here. Hope to get something out of it. Unfortunately, Bomb Girl will splash once on my tower. It's not gonna be a big of a deal. I'm gonna clean her up at the end of the day. So I think that was a acceptable trade. We're gonna go for the Flying Robot once again because there's no reason why not to. I'm not gonna go for a Balloon this time. This time I think I'm gonna just allow him to waste his Ice Tiny first and then I'm gonna go for the Balloon. Because it's gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be just way more efficient. I'm gonna play Shield Skeletons against his Swordsman. He's gonna be playing actually a very cagey setup. I'm, I'm a fan of that because right now I can just play Bullets here. And this, and this will be actually perfect because, okay, he should be able to get back into his Ice Tiny, but it's still 7 for 5 trade for me. So, absolutely fabulous. This Robo pops will deal some damage and since he just overspent on defending my balloon I think just I'm uh, up mana once again and I was about to say I want to go with a flying robot but I had to address his aggression first. So very well uh, recognition of timing out of my opponent that he pretty much almost caught me because if I were to play this flying robot he could have just gotten enough damage to go get back into the game so right now I'm gonna just play footman on the opposite side he uses a missile on me. my super devil probably hoping to get some damage I'm gonna just play uh, balloon here I'm gonna play bullets on this one killing his bomb girl and right now he has to play uh, the bomb tower at the last second it's not gonna matter though we're gonna get the lock on on the tower and that's gonna be gg so we're gonna just throw some counter cards for banter because why not and with that being said we are three out of three in this video let's keep it up in next game and for the fourth game of the video we're gonna be against uh, a russian bridge spammer who it looks like he's one win away from being a uh, 4000 medals so we're gonna just uh, throw a blitz and the uh, beginning of the game he's gonna play brute which is pretty unusual from him to play i'm gonna play devils on the opposite side he pretty much will suck this damage i'm gonna play balloon just to pressure like he wasted a piercing archer he has a super devil so that's gonna be a a way to continue this game I'm gonna be playing Footman here to kill the Piercing Archer and delete this Brute And At the same time we're getting a damage from the Balloon so there's no reason to like over defend everything. With Flying Robot at the end of the day it's about the base trade so we're gonna just try to get as much base trading as we physically can. I think um, it's a good timing to play Flying Robot 
even though he can get aggressive with Fon, I think I'm gonna actually ignore this Fon King. There's no reason for me to waste mana on this and it's not gonna kill my tower completely, so I'm gonna just ignore it and go for my... Uh, for my flying robot all in. He's gonna be playing Piercing Archer, which I think is okay to delete. And right now, I don't think he has too good of a response to my flying robot. He's gonna be playing a Super Devil, but not before he receives a lot of damage. So, I think it's a good time to just chillax. And okay, he's, he's playing a Brute, I'm just playing Footman at the bridge. I think I could have played them lower, but at the same time, yeah, I, I, I should have played them lower, because right now I'm just get, giving this Super Devil unnecessary value. I'm gonna go for a Flying Robot here. He's gonna be going right now very aggressively with Digger, and I think that was a good play out of him, because right now I don't have too good of a response against his Fawn King, and yeah, this... This Super Devil just gave him infinite value, and right now, this uh, Flying Robot of mine is kind of a waste. I, I, I think I can commit into that, and I, I'd love to see if it's gonna be worth it, because if it's not, I'm pretty much dead. He's gonna be playing Poison here, that was pretty expected. I'm gonna throw in the bullets to kill everything uh, that he owns. And that's gonna be a very cool trade, he's gonna be setting up another attack, I think I'm gonna start with Devils, because why not? And after that I'm gonna be playing Shield Skeletons here, just to distract his Fawn King. I'm gonna right now play a Balloon and Super Devil combo, and after that I think we're gonna be able just to close the game with the plays as follows. So, we're gonna be getting a very good game against Fawn, that's gonna be 16 for us in the pocket and he'll have to play 5 more games to achieve his 4k goal. Very cool to see, honestly. And we're in the last game of the video, I presume it's gonna be against Marseipok, who has 200 mils and apparently I didn't hear of him uh, just uh, until now, so he's gonna be playing apes, he's gonna be playing bullets, even more annoying. I would love to have Footman in my first hand to not uh, receive all this damage, but it is what it is. Sometimes your first hand sucks and you cannot do anything about that. I'm gonna just play Super Devil here and after that I'm gonna just play Flying Problem because, because why not too. He pretty much cannot pressure me right now, so he's forced to defend and with that being said, I can just be forced to attack. I have a Flying Robot on the board, I'm gonna play a uh, balloon soon, but not before I'm going to be playing some footman. And right now he's doing a very good job at uh, just pressuring me and uh, disallowing from ever getting any any offensive value. I'm gonna be playing. He's getting even a second gunner, which is a very cool move to see. But at the same time, he's going getting kind of overrun on both sides. He's gonna receive a lot of damage from this footman. Mind you, these footmen were meant to counter his apes and. Now, they were just a very violent way of uh, counter-punching him after this overextension. extension Right now, he's gonna be playing a very smart thing to do, which is splitting apes on the two sides. I would love this super devil to kill this gunner, and there we go. We're kinda getting away with the crime here, because we've equalized the game without any real worry. And right now, it comes down to a double mana time, which in which I think we are the favorite ones. So I'm gonna just play Flying Robot in the back. There's no reason not to, like always. He's gonna be playing Cannon just preemptively. Maybe he, he will be willing to kite my balloon. There's no reason to be scared of that just yet. I'm gonna be playing Balloon anyway, because it's just a good play. I'm gonna be playing uh, Footman on these apes, which is obviously also a good uh, thing to do. I'm gonna be playing some Devils. And Balloon, fortunately for us, will skip, so we're gonna get a Balloon skip here. He's gonna be trying to counter this footman. I think I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be definitely willing to take a kill on this gunner. I'm gonna try to right now counter these apes, so they don't uh, deal too much damage. In fact, they get only one hit, which is like fabulous for me, because after getting this tower, it pretty much comes down to uh, me not dying, so I think it's perfect. I'm gonna be playing... Shield Skeletons here, Footman here, I'm gonna try to play a Blitz, 
received no hits from that. Okay, one, one hit, two hits maybe. It was definitely good enough. We're gonna be playing another set of bullets. We're gonna be playing devils, shield skeletons, and that should be the GG's. Obviously, across the entire game, you don't want to defend against this type of deck because they will eventually overrun you, but at the end, it's absolutely fine to just preserve your tower's health. So yeah, that's gonna be a very cool game number five. In my opponent actually playing very decent deck, but unfortunately, he didn't have a good response against air spam and I would say we kinda had a hard counter. Once we survive to the double, there's nothing he can do. And yeah, that's, that game will wrap up the video right here for you today. As always, if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm posting a Boom Arena content and Boom Arena Shorts content every single day. So yeah, definitely check that out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 you know that stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching till the end. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Abu Marina.